So um, obviously by now, hopefully you all have uh, seen a copy uh, of the memo that I've sent to council. Uh, and so I'm really just here to, to try and answer any of your questions that you do might you, have. Do you believe the Rays made a good faith effort to try and negotiate with you and to keep the team in Tampa Bay? You know, I, I think uh, we, we definitely had uh, good conversations. Uh, obviously, um, I still believe that uh, St. Petersburg uh, makes the most sense long term for the, for the franchise. All you have to do is look around. I mean, here we are standing in the Edge District, right? In a building uh, that there were multiple people who wanted this space, uh, in a space that ultimately is going to house 100,000 square feet of office. Uh, the, the, the Tropicana Field site is blocks away from another site where there's going to be 150,000 square feet of office. There's going to be a new hotel. Uh, another new hotel was just announced. Another new hotel is under construction. Several apartment complexes are under construction. The Edge District is on fire. The city is on fire. This is the place where they ought to be. What is it that you think they're not seeing that you're seeing in this city? You know, I, I, I uh, and I've said this before, I think that the hard part uh, for um, the, the ownership group, I think, is, is to look beyond the past and to look to the future. And really, that's to me what we should be doing because we are talking about the future of the franchise, the long-term sustainability of the franchise. If you look to the past, what you see is uh, attendance that has lagged. If you look to the future, you see a city that is very different. Uh, that is exploding, that is growing. You see a region uh, that is exploding, exploding and growing. Uh, people are moving down, corporations are moving down, companies are moving down here and relocating here because they see what's going on in the city uh, and in this region. Uh, and I think if, 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 they, if they start looking uh, forward as opposed to backward, I think it's an easier uh, for them to accept that this is the place they should be. Why, why, did, they, why did they turn down your offer of regionalism? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, you'd have to ask them that question. Um, and we still believe that St. Pete's the best place for them. And if not St. Pete, then in the Tampa Bay region makes the most sense. This is the 11th largest TV market. And if you look at uh, their ratings this past year, the Rays have some of the best ratings in all of baseball uh, when it comes to the television market. Uh, there is no place better uh, that, that uh, potentially a, a baseball team could be than right here in the Tampa Bay area and in St. Pete. So where do we go from here? Is this the stalemate? Well, we have a use agreement uh, that's good through 2027, which commits the team to continue to play their games here uh, through 2027. Um, and my, my door remains open. I, uh, at any time the Rays want to walk through that door or pick up the phone and call me and talk about, let's uh, discuss the building and construction of a stadium in St. Petersburg for a full-time team, uh, I'm willing, ready, willing, and able to have those conversations. You know, time is of the element. Uh, you need time to redevelop the trough. It's not like a stadium is going to build itself overnight. So what's your message to the Rays to make a decision one way or the other quickly? Well, and, and you're right. I mean, uh, you know, 2028 is going to be here before you know it. And uh, there is a time that is needed in order to uh, construct a stadium, finance a stadium, agree uh, with whatever community that stadium is in um, for, for, for that stadium to be built. Uh, and so there are some decisions that the team is, is going to have to make uh, within these next couple of years. Um, I think what you're going to see within the next couple of years is the city of St. Petersburg uh, continue to grow. Our trajectory is just up. Uh, I don't see us slowing down. Um, you know, I have a saying that I, I love to use when I'm out talking to businesses, and, and it actually was just parroted to me yesterday when I was in a chant, uh, which is uh, I had someone say, you know, our, our employees are here for Enchant. They've been here a couple weeks. They don't want to leave. And I, what I always say is, if I can get people here, I got them here. Uh, people are coming here. They want to be here. Uh, and uh, that's what the future for this city is. And they yeah. want to stay. We are not a part-time city. We are not a part-time city, and this is not a part-time region. We are a major league community. Yeah. This has been going on through previous administrations. It's been a change of administration in the mayor's office. Uh, the one thing that's consistent is the management on raids. Mm -hmm. Put you on the spot here. Would you like to see different management running the Rays to see if you could negotiate with a better management team? You know, I, I, I don't know that that's, that's been the issue. I, I've, uh, you know, my relationship with, with Brian, with Matt, with Stu has always been very cordial, very frank and honest. 
Um, you know, and, and really, that's all you can ask from the person sitting across the table from you. I think it really comes down to them having to make some decisions. Um, you know, we, we made some decisions. We made a decision that, and, and recognized very quickly, we're, we're, as the deputy mayor just said, we're not a part-time city. This is not a part-time region. We are a full-time major league community, major league city, and a major league region. Uh, and that's the way we're going to be. It's the way we're going to act. And that's what's happening here. And so they, it, it really rely, it's really up to the team is to, to, to make some of those decisions that they have to make. To, to, baseball the fan, to, to, to the fans, is there any doubt that this team is leaving Tampa Bay? I, I'm still not convinced of that yet. Uh, I, you know, when you, again, when you look around at the possibilities of what's happening around the stadium and what could happen on that site that they can be a part of uh, and have a new stadium on that site with, you know, some incredible development of hotels and residences and university potentially and um, retail and, and, you know, all of this life and vibrancy and activity around a, a new stadium. Uh, you know, I think it's a, it's a pretty compelling argument. I think it's one that's hard to look past. And I think it's just a matter of time before, it, it is, you know, if they start looking around for 2028, they realize, you know, hey, we got a pretty good thing right here. This is where we need to be. What mechanism, though, would there be to, re, to restart all of this? Pick up the phone, give me a call. I, you know, my, like, uh, and that's how I left it with those guys is, look, if you want to talk about a full-time stadium here in St. Petersburg, just call me. I'm willing to sit down with you and let's have those conversations. You would, also, you would also make the offer, though, to open up Tampa Bay and Hills, uh, Tampa and Hillsboro to them for a full-time stadium. Yes, and and that was an offer we did make available. Did, were you disappointed and even a little insulted that it would still cost full full price for a stadium to be used half the time? That they would even make an offer where you'd still have to pay full price for a stadium they use half the time? Yeah, my my job as mayor is to be a good steward of taxpayer dollars, and I'm very proud of how uh, we as an administration, as a city council, how we have managed uh, the taxpayer dollars in the city of St. Petersburg. We've actually been recognized for our fiscal responsibility and stewardship. Uh, and I think it is a poor use of taxpayer dollars uh, to spend the kind of money that it would take to build a new stadium for a part-time team. Uh, and again, we're not a part-time city, we're a full-time city. So it's in, the ball's in their court, so to speak? The, 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 ball, is, uh, the ball is in their court, seems up. Speak to like the the roller coaster of emotions that this whole process has been for for the city for the fans. Yeah, I think that's the hard part for the fans, and you know, and, and let me say this before before I get to that, you know, the playoff run was an amazing run, uh, and uh, we had great attendance, which says to me that if people want to come to the game, they can find their way to the stadium, uh, and they came from all over the Tampa Bay area to go to the games. Uh, I want to encourage the fans to continue to do that. These guys were out there playing their hearts out every day. They're going to do it again next year. I have no question about that in my mind. And so we need to support them and, and go to the game uh, and show them that we care about them. And if you could do it for a playoff game, you can do it for a regular season. Uh, but I do think when you have 12 years of uncertainty that that starts to weigh on the fan. Uh, and I think the fans of this community would like some certainty and knowing that this is, in fact, where the team wants to make its home permanently. Uh, and, you know, baseball is an emotional, you mentioned emotion. It is an emotional game, it, uh, and there's an emotional attachment to a team and to the players on that team. Uh, and it's hard to ask people to make that emotional commitment until that commitment has been made to the community. And I, I, I've told the Rays that, and, uh, and I've said this publicly before. I think if there's certainty, if there's that commitment, uh, then, the, then the fans will make that same commitment back. Do you believe that public officials will be persuaded by um, a so-called black eye that it would be on this community if the team, and we were talking about how, how wonderful everything is and the growth and all that, mm -hmm. but, but you know, the black eye would be significant if a major league team works. Is that going to weigh on public officials? Well, see, I, I, I disagree with your premise because I don't think it's a black eye. Uh, would we be disappointed? Would we be disappointed to lose a team? Absolutely. Uh, will we survive and can we survive without the team? Absolutely. If you look around at this city, uh, we're getting ready to open, I think it's our 11th museum. Uh, there's not many cities our size in the country that have 11 quality, outstanding museums in addition to being able to host the Shine Mural Fest 
in addition to hosting the first race of IndyCar every season and having uh, soccer, professional soccer here. We have a lot going on in the city. Uh, Major League Baseball certainly is an important part of it and we'd like to see it continue. Uh, but if they do leave, uh, St. Peters, Petersburg will survive. We'll, we'll continue to thrive. Um, how many meetings did you have with them? Oh, I, 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 I don't even know. I'd have to sit and, and try and recount each and every meeting. But uh, we, you know, Dozens, we. Was it more than 10? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't want to speculate without going back and looking. But, you know, we had very good discussions. They were very honest and frank. Uh, and, you know, we, uh, we obviously got to that place where, where this is where we are right now. When's the, when was the last meeting? Uh, a month and a half, month ago. I, I, I don't remember. For sure. And you will be able to move forward with some of the renovations on the TROP now until we get a, a decision from them, correct? Yeah, so, so our game plan going forward is, you know, we have this amazing site, which is a generational opportunity in the city of St. Petersburg. You know, the, the, the temptation is to, to, to act quickly and, and start trying to redevelop it. Uh, but it's really important that we get it right. You know, our vision statement talks about honoring our past as we pursue our future. Uh, this site obviously has a significant past and we want to make sure in everything that we do going forward on that site that we're honoring that past as we do pursue our future. We've, we've done two master plans, one with and without a, a stadium, but we want to continue to go out and have conversations with the community uh, so that when we do go out to RFP down the road, whenever that time is, uh, that, that we're putting something out there that will reflect what uh, the city wants, what the community wants, and what's good for the city of St. Petersburg for the long term. We're eight years away from that contract ending. The stadium has to be built somewhere if they want it. What if we come 2028 20, and they're a team without a home? What did they go month to month on the drop? I mean, that, well, that's, that, what is that? I, I have no idea how that works. Uh, you know, obviously that's that's got to play a part in the decisions that they make. Um, but um, you know, we've got eight years. We're looking forward to seeing great baseball. Uh, and again, I want to encourage fans. Come to the games and enjoy a, a great baseball game in a in a great atmosphere where it's always 72 degrees and sunny out. Did you, did did you tell them you were everybody? going to make this announcement? I'm sorry? Did you tell them you were going to make this announcement? I did give them a heads up. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you all so much. Thank you. Thank you.